congratulations, you've made it to the end of the course. Uh, you've covered a lot of ground over the last uh, many lectures. Hopefully you feel like you've learned something along the way about fluid mechanics. Um, you know, if you go back and take a look at all the videos, hopefully you watched all the videos along the way, you'll see we've covered a lot of ground. We, we started with some basic properties like, you know, density and specific weight and pressure and things like that. We talked about uh, fluid statics. So, so manometry, you know, hydrostatic pressure relation, manometry, fluid statics, fluid static forces, buoyant forces. We talked about viscous forces. Uh, we started talking about, um, I'm trying to remember all this stuff. We talked about control volumes, like things like conservation of mass, the linear momentum equation for inertial and non-inertial frames of reference, Bernoulli's equation. We also dealt with differential control volumes, very small control volumes. There we dealt with the continuity equation and the Navier-Stokes equations. And then we sort of started going into some applications. Well, we also talked about dimensional analysis, very important topic, don't want to miss that one. But then we started talking more about applications like boundary layers, lift and drag, pipe flows, uh, pipe flows with pumps in them, and compressible flows. So, you know, we've covered a lot of ground and I'm sure I've missed some things. I'm just trying to go from memory here. Um, but hopefully you learned something over the whole semester. This, this, like I said, is an introductory course in fluid mechanics. You'll learn a lot of things at this introductory level, a lot of the language and, and basics. There's a lot more to learn about every one of those topics we've discussed. And that's where a more advanced course in fluid mechanics would be helpful. If you want to know a lot more about gas dynamics or compressible flows, there's a whole course available, actually multiple courses, just on that topic. Uh, and the same is true for everything else. If you want to know more about pumps, there are courses just on, on hydraulic power that has pumps in it as well. So this is a foundational course. It kind of sets the foundation for everything else that you'll um, learn about fluid mechanics. Now, in a normal mechanical engineering sequence, you would have thermodynamics first, then you have fluid mechanics, and then the next course that you would have would be heat and mass transfer. And so at Purdue, that course is ME315 for the mechanical engineers. So it'll take a lot of the ideas from this course, the, the fluid mechanics course, and use them to look at how you move heat around. And that shows up specifically in the convection portion of heat and mass transfer. So anyway, this course will build um, it, it will be used in that those other courses. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed all of the lectures. Uh, you know, it's kind of a, a strange way to l learn fluid mechanics just online without much uh, give and take here. Uh, so, uh, you know, I encourage you to dig deeper into the topic. Look at some other of the related videos that I've posted on the on the YouTube description links, and uh, hopefully you continue to learn on the topic and. Um, uh, you find the course useful. Thanks.